was a, a residential hotel built in 24 and, and stayed that way for many years. Jim Pappas is president of Fusco Schaefer and Pappas Architects and Planners. He and his firm recently renovated this building on Woodward in Midtown, built in 1924. Like of the plaster, this is 100 year old. What you see here is the original. The cost, $17 million. It's expensive to save some of these old buildings, but you're losing Detroit. You know, you're losing these amazing structures that are all over the city of Detroit that, that make it unique. Do it right and save these buildings. But preserving this building was only part of the process. Preserving families was far more important. You see, it was a hotel, but more recently it was a homeless shelter. But now the Coalition on Temporary Shelter, or COTS, has turned it into 56 apartments of affordable, permanent, supportive housing for families at or below the poverty threshold. Anybody can do a shopping center, uh, but if you do somebody's home like this that really needs a place to live, uh, it's a great feeling. It's one thing to be able to provide services. It's another to have a venue and a space where they can find safety, comfort, and support. Some of the families that we've uh, partnered with, that we collaborate with, have experienced traumas and crises. So oftentimes they just need support. They need somebody to say, hey, you're not alone. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Asha Morell Ferguson is Chief Development Officer for COTS. She says affordable housing like this is almost unheard of in Detroit's Midtown. The developments that are going up around us, one bedroom apartments, some of them studios, $2,200, $2,300 a month. And that's not affordable for the average Detroit family. Which is why she says this is so valuable. Here, people can get a GED, programming for children, healthy cooking classes, while a mobility coach helps the families toward a brighter future. A lot of our families have little to no income. So some of the families here don't have rent to pay. Others have a very small percentage of that income so that they can try to build that stability. The first family moved in in December of 2020 and by June of 2021 all of the apartments were full right here in a safe and stable environment. One that Jim Pappas is proud to be part of along with the many other nonprofits they've designed for. Today over half of our work is with different nonprofit organizations which it, the feeling that you get being involved with projects like this. That feeling Asha knows well. We believe heavily in the power of partnership and even to partner with Fusco, Schaefer and Pappas to bring this vision, this dream to reality is, it's a dream come true for us, but it's bigger than us. It's, it's for the families. Families getting stronger every day. It's a joy. I can't even put it into words how amazing it feels to be able to witness that growth and, and that, that triumph for them. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.